Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Today we have a summer themed um, mini album. And this is um, a six and a half by six and a half album. The pages are six by six and there are four pages. Um, this book would hold between 45 and 55 pictures. And uh, it is was made with Echo Park's, um, no I'm sorry, Cartabella's Summer Market Collection. And it is based on the design by Rose Kelly. Um, on the front here, we have a cut apart that's been matted about four times. And it says, I love how summer just wraps its arms around you like a warm blanket. <clears throat> we have some pretty green flowers. Up here we have uh, some acrylic pieces that are formed into a banner. Has a ribbon closure. Has a a big chunky one. This is a three and a half inch spine. And then here's the back. It does have a different kind of binding in it. The, the pages are not attached to the, to the spine. Um, not sure that I really like how that turned out, but it's perfectly functional. And, um, you know, it's all a matter of preference, personal preference. Again, we have a tie closure. I always leave these big and floppy. You can always trim them down after you get your pictures in here and you know how big your book is gonna be. Um, this seam binding though does ravel. So once you trim it, you need to put something on the end here to keep it from raveling. What I use is art glitter glue, but you could use, sorry about that, the cat just jumped off the table and made everything rock. Um, I use art glitter glue, but you could use any glue that is uh, that dries clear. And I just put a line of this on my finger and then dip the end of the ribbon into that glue. And then you have to put it over away from your book somewhere because you don't want to glue it to your book um, and let that dry. And that'll keep it from raveling. <clears throat> so on the inside front cover here, we have a flap that goes up. And here it says summer, sweet summer. And that is, that's not glued down at the top so that when you put your picture on there, you can slip that behind there. <clears throat> and then a flap that goes down and then a large space here. Over here, we have a little pocket with some tags in it. Um, to, this says, today is going to be the best day ever. And I almost always leave my tags and, and photo mats blank on the back so that you can write on them if you want to, or you can put a picture back there. And then this pocket flips open. I have space here and a large space here. This says, everything good, everything magical happens between the months of June and August. So the back of page one has a flap that goes to the left and then one that goes to the right. Here we have another stacked pocket like we had on the first page with tags in it. And this one is a pocket itself. So there's another tag in here, photo mat. Back of page two is a waterfall. So plenty of places to put photos here. Let's settle down with the magnet. Here we have a flap that goes to the right and then a large spot here. Again, this is open, so you can put your photo underneath there if you want to. is the back of page three. We have a, aren't those little campers cute? <clears throat> page, uh, flap that goes up and the flap that goes down. And this is just a big pocket with a photo mat in it. And down here we have a wooden piece that says barefoot. 
In the back of page four, it says Happy Summer. It is open. So that you can put your photo back on there. This opens to the right, and this one opens to the left. And here on the inside back cover, we have some alternating flaps, one left, right, left, right, and then a large spot here. And again, you can fold that up to whatever your preference is, um, as long as the magnets are still working. So that is our little summer themed album. If you have any questions, my email will be in the description below. Please let me know. And thank you for watching today.